Okay, you guys remember how I showed you the maps that were here on Earth before 1958, before the governments took them out. Now I'm going to show you the Encyclopedia Britannica's in the public libraries before 1958. Here is volume two out of the alphabet A. And we're going to flip to the Antarctica, which, and this is from 1958, as you can see. Now, we're going to flip to the Antarctica and see what the Encyclopedia Britannica from 1958 before the Antarctic Treaty says is there. Now you won't find this in the new encyclopedias because the governments banned them. But what I want you to notice right here is notice how it says the flights proved inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south longitude 90 degrees east take a really really close look at that now i'm going to zoom it in for you when they returned to new zealand these flights proved the inland areas to be featureless with a character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south longitude 90 degrees east now if this doesn't make sense to you let me show you with an image of what a flat earth map would look like now this is what latitude 80 degrees south would look like on a flat earth map as you can see the dome comes down closer to you over the wall which would be about 13,000 feet now if you go back out into the center of the earth or up the north pole and try to go up to the firmament with a little bit of calculation it's going to show that it's about 385,500 feet away it's really really simple folks now if you're not familiar with any of this at all at all and you're just now new to the, all this it, you could say well this guy is crazy he doesn't know what he's talking about but what, but what you got to ask yourself is why do all the maps before 1958 show a flat earth with the ice wall around it and a firmament, a dome. And why does the encyclopedia tell you that there's a dome there and it gives you the exact height at a certain latitude and longitude? Well, the reason is, is because in 1958, that's when all governments and all nations of the world signed the UN treaty to ban all civilians from going to the Antarctica. And NASA came in and erased everything just like they're erasing everything today. So again, ask yourself, if all this existed, before 1958, why doesn't it exist now? How come it all of a sudden was erased and just disappeared out of your history books, out of your encyclopedias, out of your libraries? Wake up, people. Wake up.